Welcome to the spoken tutorial on third party plugins in GEdit text editor. In this tutorial, we will learn how to install third party plugins and use it. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 14.04 operating system GEdit text editor 3.10. To follow this tutorial, you should have working knowledge of any operating system. Now, we will learn about third party plugins. Plugins are also developed by other programmers. These are called third party plugins. This gives you extra functionality that is not available in default gedit plugins. Installing a third party plugin involves downloading the plugin from the below link. Placing the plugin files in the correct directory. Activating the plugin. Let us go to the gedit website to download the plugins. Click on the plugins link at the top right corner. Click on list of gedit plugins. We can see many links for third party plugins for different versions of gedit text editor. Since my version of gedit is 3.10, I will click on the link for version 3.8 and 3.10. You have to choose the link depending upon your gedit version. Scroll down to see the various third party plugins. Let us explore the features of intelligent text completion. Auto close brackets and quotes, auto complete HTML tags, auto indent after function or list. I will demonstrate how to install and use intelligent text completion. Let us go to the gedit website, click on the download link. We can see the features and installation details for intelligent text completion. Go through the information thoroughly for your own understanding. Click on the clone or download drop down box on the top right corner. Then click on the download zip. Select the save file option and click OK. The file is saved in the downloads folder. Extract the files. Open the folder to see the available files. I will copy the folder gedit 3-8 because my gedit version is higher than this. We need to copy this folder to dot local slash share slash gedit slash plugins in the home directory. Select the home directory. Click on the view menu on the menu bar and select show hidden files. Locate the dot local folder share. Create the subdirectory gedit if it is not there. Inside gedit directory, let us create another subdirectory called plugins. Paste the folder or copy the files from the folder. Inside plugins, third party plugin files should be copied to the correct directory as shown. Now our plugin is ready to use. Let's open the gedit text editor. From the main menu, click edit and preferences. Under the Plugins tab, scroll down to see whether our third party plugin is added. We can see the Intelligent Text Completion plugin is added to our list. Check the box. Click Close. Let us see how the Intelligent Text Completion helps us to write a HTML program. I will type tag as shown here. After the less than symbol, press backslash. It will automatically insert the title closing tag. In the next line, type less than backslash. You can see the head closing tag is inserted. Again type less than backslash. HTML closing tag is also inserted. So it automatically detects the HTML tag and creates them. It makes our work easy while writing the source code. 
we can see the syntax highlight is in off mode. Until you save a document in gedit text editor, syntax highlighting is turned off. You can turn it on by clicking the menu view and highlight mode. You can select the mode depending upon your source code. As our program is HTML, I will select HTML option from the list. We can see our HTML code gets highlighted with the syntax. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about how to install third-party plugins and use it. Here is an assignment for you. Download and install a plugin called Advanced Find and Replace Plugin for Gedit Text Editor. Enable it and check its functions. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken tutorial project is funded by NME ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Nirmala Venkat from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.